Is artificial intelligence biased like humans are? A team of Princeton researchers set out to answer that question. They ran vast amounts of text from the World Wide Web through a computer program. They were looking for proximity of one word to another, which artificial intelligence uses to determine a word's meaning. And, and then looking at, for each word, what are the other words that tend to occur around it? So you can tell that a cat is more like a dog and less like a refrigerator, or even less like justice, by, because you say things like, I need to go home and feed my cat, and I need to go home and feed my dog, but you never say, I need to go home and feed my refrigerator my refrigerator or, or justice, right? They found that such word associations found their way into race, gender, and other sensitive matters. Um, female names are associated more with family terms, whereas uh, male names are associated more with uh, career terms. She demonstrated how artificial intelligence shows this bias. Okay, so now I'm going to translate from Turkish to English, and we see that when I try to translate from the genderless noun, he, she, or it is a doctor, it translates as he is a doctor. And when I try to translate from he, she, or it is a nurse, it translates as she is a nurse to English. The same representation, so the same AI machine learning stuff that, that was saying that, for example, women are more domestic, so that had these things that we consider prejudices also were extremely accurate at reporting how many women were in a particular job versus how many men were in a particular job. The authors say that bias is built into the language itself. So there are a number of ways in which uh, AI could uh, imbibe human bias. One is from its creators or its programmers, and another is from the data that's fed into it. That comes not so much from the programmers, but simply uh, from society as a whole, from people who write text online in our study. So that's what we were, we were really seeking to show here. Is that we've shown that, the, um, that we can account for some of the prejudice that humans have, possibly. At least we can put up a hypothesis that the language itself, just learning language, could account for um, for the prejudices. So the other thing that's really exciting is it shows as I, that, that, that meaning, that we can get meaning from language without experiencing the world. And, and that, that whether it's good things or bad things, whether you know, it, that it's true things, that we're able to absorb that from how a word is used.